every time the game is about to start and the mystery is noticed and, you know, we begin acting on it, like, as if the plot is going to be starting. Then another character randomly shows up and introduces themselves for some reason. Well, it's good to get these characters introduced as early as possible, so we don't have to do it later. I can't say that you're wrong. So we just met Shining Finger. We did, we did. And I wanted to point out something that I noticed, but didn't comment on. She said she was taking a picture of, like, the environment, like a like the, the backgrounds and stuff, The right? scenery. The scenery, yes. But then you look at that picture and of she totally Okanin, She was totally it, taking a picture of Okanin. She was taking a picture of him. He had this melancholic look on his face that matches her default expression. Huh. She was interested in him. Now She introduced herself, and rather than asking for the contact information of Daru or some way to get in touch with him directly, she asked for his email. Okarin was right in the middle. Well, regardless of where he was, he might not have been in focus. Ah, good And, point. you know, we had gone insane because of the, the action and those lectures. <laughs> Since then, we've had a chance to sleep and eat, and you must restrain me from continuously making Gundam jokes. Because I really want to, and I think, I think, I have been really good about not doing that. But when there is a character that Okari <laughs> calls Shining Finger, it's on! It's gonna happen! And if you didn't want that, then don't name her Shining Finger. You already did the quote last episode. Calm yourself. Speaking of Shining Finger, somehow we're the Bittersweet Gamers! I'm Schwartz Bruder. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoji! <laughs> I'm actually we squid. Can I be Master Asia? Alan B, best girl. <laughs> I mean, I'm the opinionator. We're about to meet up with Daru in what is totally not a maid cafe. 100%. Uh-huh. I've always been curious about maid cafes for uh, scientific reasons. Uh-huh. Sure you were. <laughs> no, I saw a documentary about, about maid cafes, and it seemed, like, from the perspective of the maids, it seems interesting, but I think I'd actually just get to Ghibli's and be super cringed. <laughs> that was the impression I got from the documentary was like I'm embarrassed at my life <laughs> has nothing to do with the people who do it or the people who go but boy I don't think that's for me one p.m. <laughs> you know as we squared I can certainly approve of the name of this place Nyan squared, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Ah, Okarina! Mayuri? In this place, Mayuri is known as Mayushi Nyan Nyan. Oh my god. Well, it sort of makes sense that she would work here. Isn't it actually kind of perfect for her? Yeah, you're right. If she's got those moe qualities, then... And that sort of that cosplaying aspect? Okari... Okari Is it? Master? Don't talk that way, it disgusts me. <laughs> it just reminds me, every time she talks, she, she reminds me of Shinjo Akane from SSSS Gridman. Uh-huh. I, I even was thinking they were the same voice actor, but they're not. But she has this... They both have this really weird way of talking that when they're sort of happy. Airiness? Yeah, airy and... Fua, fua. Kind of forcefully airy. Yeah, anyway! <laughs> yes, dear, we got the pun. Niteru <laughs> nye. Now, I like cats, but give me a break. Also, can I say, because this has to be said. Okay. It's the look on your face. Uh-huh. <laughs> Light-colored hair and really dark eyebrows are a non-starter for me. I agree with that sentiment as well. What? Whatever. <laughs> this maid... Ferris Nyan Nyan, her professional name, of course, hits me with her trademark combo attack of cute cat-like gestures. But she calls me Kyoma, so I allow it. 
She's make we Nyan Nyan's most popular maid. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> My pride! My dignity! Let me have some of it back! <laughs> Daru frequents this cafe because he's, he's a weirdo. Because he's got a crush on Ferris and he cheats on his 2D girls with 3D maids. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to best me. What? Oh, oh, I see. She's very good to her customers, you see. I see that. This yeah. is why she's the most popular maid. No, oh, so not a good She knows what his kink is, sad, so to speak. Well, in a retail environment, which this most definitely is... That's true! Depending on your uh, position in the place, <laughs> like if you're at the front, like at the register or something, where you interact with the customers, part of your job does require you to know all the regular customers, and the more you interact with them in a personable way... Right. Like, assuming they want it, which most of them do, really... But, like, where you recognize each person and know things about them and then kind of, like, say that you know them and know things about them every time that you see them, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it makes them want to come back. It's like, good business. <laughs> but it's having the opposite effect with Okari. <laughs> Ferris is how she's saying it, okay. She's got a little fang, too. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> and they both have such serious looks on their face. Help me. Well, you know, I mean, we've got someone, we've got yet another person who is in their own world but interacts with Okarin in her own special way, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can't see him, but I'm sure, off-screen, Daru disapproves. <laughs> Go for it, Damon, I can't stop you. I see that somebody other than myself really likes G Gundam. <laughs> yes? The things I like are so obscure, terrible, niche, and stupid that they are constantly referenced. That's how you can tell I have awful taste in that I am catered to. She's really good! <laughs> I wonder how she talks to Daru. I don't want to know how she talks to Daru. Okay. He's a weirdo. あの場所には <laughs> <laughs> she has to f to to fight her brother to rescue him. I just just look at Mayuri. Uh huh. She's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is normal. <laughs> Since when do you have a brother? And what the hell's this spirit conference anyway? You went off script, dummy. <laughs> Whenever I talk with her, I run out of comebacks, which is. Really unusual for me. It's like she truly understands the Chuni spirit. She out Chunies him. She is a better Chuni than he is. <laughs> that is some dedication. <laughs> that is some freaking dedication. <laughs> and then she takes the initiative, leaving me with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. She's so delusional. And then I, then I wind up stuck here for five hours, having spent like 10,000 yen on her. Only that? What a cheap trip. I don't have any concept of how much value a yen has. Let me tell you something. 
you don't go to a place like this if you're broke. Okay. I mean, come on! You can only take it so far, and this is me talking! And I take it way too far all the time, and I have limits past that, and you're telling me that this girl surpasses those? How embarrassing. There's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. I talk about crazy things that are sort of like conspiracy theories, and she keeps talking about G Gundam. I prefer hers. <laughs> As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth, while Ferris has only delusions and a made-up backstory. For shame! And, like, better taste in source material. <laughs> I always have no choice but to play along. That's why I feel like I can never best her. I want to be involved too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for our meeting with Daru to be sidetracked by yet another character. Yeah, we're trying to advance the plot here, but new female characters have to show up. And they're talking about G Gundam, so I have to like them. Now I'm being double teamed. <laughs> but she's Ferris. Well, and he's ho o o o in kyoma. How many O's was that? Oh! If you ever do that again, by the way, your life will be ended by my two hands. Take it. All of my anger, all of my love, and all of my sorrow! Duly noted. It, is she talking about this Ferris? Is that a real name? Ferris? Ferris? Furis? Faris? Ferris? Ha! Her true name sounds way too much like her normal name! Have I been mistaken all this time? She refers to herself in the third person frequently. I'm just listening to what she says and aping it back to her. That's a disturbing thought. Has she been able to beat me yet again? No, this is one of the differences in this world life. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay! That's just one of her nicknames. Now, there wasn't anything like that in the original script, as you, from, from what she said, but, Billy... Yeah? You understand? She's catering to both of us. We came here with this oh, my dignity, the fear. She starts by going full G Gundam and uh -huh. completely wins me over. Uh -huh. And now she's making puns. And now she's going after you. We need to hurry up and get through the scene. This is terrible. This is a cat catastrophe. <laughs> what a professional. I think you mean a professional. <laughs> My god, now I want to go here. And that's why she's the number one maid. I guess all I really want is for a girl to talk about G Gundam with me. I mean, apparently. <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> She guides me to Daru's table. Where the hell have you been? I'm sure he's just been listening to this. <laughs> I told you, he wasn't on screen, but Daru disapproved. And he was like, where the hell have you been? So it's just that he's sort of emotionally flat. Is this the only look on Daru's face 
where he disapproves of everyone around. No, no, no. He only disapproves of Okarin. Eyes narrow. Daru defaultly disapproves diligently. So <laughs> Fadies Tan. Tan, of course, of course. God, kill me. Now that she's gone, I can move on. Until she comes back and starts talking about, like, you know, Zeta Gundam or something. <sighs> <sighs> I'm getting uncomfortable. By the way, have you noticed how everyone here looks bored? They're paying a fortune to, to be, be waited on by girls in cute outfits talking like cats. Who also try to cater to them. Yeah, they do look kind of bored. I don't know if that's just... Well, you don't want to... You don't I, want the background people to stand out too much? Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Ah, oh, some more Trudy stuff, don't worry. <laughs> Hell, even I didn't get most of it. It's, it's Daru and Mayuri, they're the anime people, so... <laughs> It's nothing more than an amalgam of fantasy and delusion. Fantusion! Fantusion? That sounds like you ought to go to the hospital for it. Delutacy? Man, after getting burned out on the lecture in 2chan, it's good to have you back, Billy. <laughs> or was it Ferris that brought you back? Probably Ferris. My god. So, <laughs> <laughs> He understands implicitly. He is a man who understands the world. Early on, I said, I reject this, whatever, or it is stupid, but clearly the person who thinks like that is actually Daru. That's coming from an otaku. Maybe he really just wants the waifus. Otaku! A term for people with an obsessive interest in a particular topic. Hobbyists. Most often refers to fans of anime, manga, and video games. But there are also train otaku, military otaku, electronics otaku, cathode ray otaku, etc. Uh... I am the bone of my sword! <laughs> And so I pray! Unlimited <laughs> blade work! <laughs> I see that the uh, creator of this series has some fine taste. I do see that the creator of this game has some fine taste! Reality Marvel, a type of magecraft in which the user overwrites the world with a pocket dimension based on his or her emotional experience. Do you like how this doesn't say fictional or something? I mean, I get it. It's, it says Chuni, but... Well, it only says fictional if it's something within this world. Often used in ordinary conversation to speak of couples flirting in public, immersed in their own world, not caring about the pain they are inflicting on others? I don't huh. think I've ever heard that used. I've never heard that term like that. Ha! Huh. Uh, it makes sense, however. Yeah, yeah. Wonder which came first. The chicken reality marble or the egg reality marble? I'm not even close to keeping up with her. <laughs> One minute, Daru. Time to hold this off even more so that I can, you know, ch check out my phone. From Lukako, religious services. Dad won't teach me how to be a priest. He keeps saying he has 30 years of work left in him, so he doesn't need my help. That doesn't explain why he keeps trying to teach me the ceremonial Miko dance, though. Oi! P.S. I did 10 practice swings with Samidare. You know, Okabe Rintaro lives in a pretty happy world at the moment, doesn't he? All things he? considered, yeah. It's just everywhere he goes... People want to interact with him in kind of a way that he wants them to interact with him, but he also wants to put them down for doing it. It's kind it's of... a way he wants them to interact with, but he doesn't want to admit that's what he wants them to interact with him with. So basically... <laughs> He's a truny soon. If you can keep... If you can <laughs> keep track of all the whiffs in this... Yeah, I was going to say, it's a visual novel main character who is the one that is the, the super tsundere, or at least the tsun. <laughs> 
Or... Why am I talking like this? I blame the freaking maids! I'm now gonna... we should consult the guide to find out what to reply to. There's only one thing we can reply to! So that's what we gotta pick! It's the wrong one! The ceremonial Miko dance. But according to the legend of Ama no Iwato, that means... No! Don't tell me your father intends to open the gate! It's too soon! Science gate? No! Aren't you paying attention? You're doing it wrong. We're talking about ancient gates into the land of Yamato. Aren't you even fu- I can't even talk to you, Billy. God. Uh, oh. Huh, it's Lukako again. Is he bored? <laughs> what? what, what, what? Oh, oh yeah, we're here for a reason. No, no, no. It's time to be interrupted by another character introducing themselves. Ah, that's right. There's something sort of important going on. In my confrontations with Shining Finger and Cat Girl, I almost forgot my original objective. <laughs> That's why it took me so long to get here. Because it's urgent. John Titor ba? Shittiru yo na. John Titor? Dare? Mm-hmm. Of course. America ni 10 nen hodo mai ni arabareta. Jishou Mirai Jin da. Omae to wa izen, koitsu no wadai o shita hazu da zo. Mata Okarin no itsumo no せて。設定とか言うな。俺が話すことは全て真実だ。ああ、満足せ。じゃあ付き合ってやるけどさ。そのタイターってやつが未来人だっていうソースは。待て。なんでそんな初耳のような言い方をする。As we expected. Yeah, this is a different world line. Confirmed in a way that can't be questioned now. <laughs> but they don't exist either. I remember talking to Daru about John Titor back in high school. It was only idle talk, so it's possible that Daru forgot about it. Maybe it didn't make much of an impression on him. Daru's quite the internet addict, after all. You'd figure this is the sort of thing he'd know. And the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. There's no guarantee Daru looked up info on John Titor. I mean, you're not a big internet junkie, junkie and you knew about him. If he had, I doubt he would have forgotten so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken, or everyone else's? That's <laughs> right. It's interesting because Daru doesn't know how to take it. He's not sure if he's just being chuny or not. Yeah. Kind of a boy who cried wolf thing. I show him the picture Shining hey, Fingers sent me. I'm actually slightly impressed with you. So here's a question. In the anime, what was Daru's voice like in the dub? The reason that I ask, I'm just kind of curious how they tried to handle his particular way of talking. Honestly, the way he talks irritates the piss out of me. <laughs> well, I guess it's because he actually sounds like a 4chan addict in the way he talks. Yeah, that'd or be at least, pretty annoying. At least my impression of how that would sound in Japanese. Right? Anyway, I don't Ball like... Oh, for the win. But I can't... I can't actually... No, not, not that at all. <laughs> anyway, I can't actually describe his way of speaking, so I'm not going to waste anybody's time trying. 
IBN が1975年に発売したモデルっしょ。I like how he knows that off the top of his head. Well, he'd better, that's his specialty. That's right. The John Titer from 10 years ago mentioned that on an American message board. He traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBN 5100, then leaped to 1998. Don't p i s h i n on t h e d a n Takasugi no PC, Dana. The president of IBM said, I think in the 70s, no one will ever have a reason to own a personal computer. What fool he was. Yeah, I think the Apple II was the first, that was the first computer that regular people could reasonably afford. IBN は6年後の1981年に IBN PC っていう大ヒットシリーズを発売してて、そっちの方が有名なわけ。つうか僕も IBN5100 の知識は、ネットのウィキを見たことがあるぐらいだぞ。And now I get to tell everyone in 2019 what a wiki is. It's an online system for the creation and compilation of hypertext documents on a web server. There, there is no way that what you were saying was going to describe it in those words. Anyway, それが現在の秋葉にあるという都市伝説を聞いたことが。おお、あるある。And he knows this off the top of his head. De, so no was so kikitsketa, tochan no yushiga, Akiba Jun no shop for Sagashi Martandeo. Frepara no friend on a gejinet to Hitoga Irundagado, so no Hitoga Chushin in Atene. Ah, Frepara, fictional, a popular SNS social network service website designed to facilitate easy communication between users. あの疾風人来のナイトハルトまで出張ってきたらしいけど、結局見つからなかったんだって。疾風人来ナイトハルト<笑> ?What? じゃあ、都市伝説はデマだったということか。さあ知らねえ。秋葉にはアンダーグラウンドなショップがたくさんあるし、案外どっかの怪しいショップにひょっこり転がっててもおかしくないんじゃね ?Honestly, 秋葉バラ would be the place to look, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, this, this game represents such a specific type of person and such a specific type of culture and like such a specific period of time. I kind of feel like it ought to be preserved in the Library of Congress or something. <laughs> it's, it's like a.、Uh, Well, I think there's immense cultural value in this. Yeah, like, I think I understand what you're saying. I, want, I don't want to call it world building, but like world referencing. World referencing. It feels like this is actually taking place in the world. Like you could believe that this is real. <laughs> From Shining Figure. Sorry about earlier. I'm not used to talking with guys, so I was so nervous. Hee 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 hee. Anyway, can you please, please, please times a thousand ask the super hacker about the urban legend? Thanks! I'll text you again soon. Like it or not, Moika. Talk about a completely different person. <laughs> like the way her fingers were blurring when she was typing on the phone. What the hell? <laughs> Who is this? This isn't Shining Finger. This is more like Nobel Gundam. <laughs> Disregarding the weird timing. I don't think you should in a game like this. Is this really the gloomy, unsociable woman for whom talking was like pulling teeth <laughs> that I met in front of Roddy Khan? I can't believe she's already interrupting my desperate attempt to advance the plot! Twice. <clears throat> I can't believe she's already so friendly considering we've just exchanged addresses. He's like a completely different person in this not real world. <laughs> the world of text and email. Does she have split personalities or something? Like, seriously, I. Hoi, Kyoma! Kyokira Mando Scientist! Definitely think this girl is really weird. Does she have a problem? 
I tell Dotto to wait a bit as I start typing out a response. Look at his face. He is. <laughs> Disapproving. It's not like I trust her, but I figure I should tell her what I learned from Dotto. And like you said, she took the picture uh -huh. of Okarin. Yeah. And she was really interested. After he said, I have a super hacker friend, she wanted his address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The IBN 5100 is extremely rare. El Sai Congru. Okay. Two seconds later. Sent. Matase tana, Daru. So, I'm going to ask you a question. IBN 5100. Uh... <laughs> no, it has the power to read like a 5.1 inch floppy disk. Truly, this will be the end of the world. I'm not so sure it can even read a dang text file. Okarin, you are interrupting my cat girl maid type. Get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like he doesn't even talk like that. That's what's so weird. Oh, God, no. Good timing. 30%. My dignity, it hurts. <laughs> it says the world is in danger. Um, you're saying? I don't know what that could be in reference to, and that terrifies me. She's raising money. Oh, okay. Whether it's for herself or the shop. Oh, okay, okay. Where is the home? Is she a competitor? Is she a competitor too? Okay. She is a competitor, Billy. Shut up. Muri Muri. Okarin wa Rainetonia I have better things to do with my time than this stupid Rainet. The world is in danger! From the organization! Don't you all understand? Only I! Looking disappointed, Ferris meowed her way back to the counter. See, she did all the talking and then was trying to close the sale. Of course, of course. Not even mouthfuls of omelet rice could stop Daru's rambling about Ferris. His passion is truly overwhelming, but he puts up with me, so I can't complain all that much. <laughs> of course she is. That's so. Wow. That's pretty impressive, actually. Who? Oh, that <laughs> reference goes beyond me. Look, man, we can't get them all. Having said that, I mean, Likson, I don't know what they're referring to, but Likson is, is how you would say uh, Lu Xun in Japanese, and he was a Three Kingdom strategist. Okay, who, that that would kind of make sense. Who is a uh, well? He was a Wu strategist who is well known for uh, beating back a humongous invasion from Liu Bei. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's the best I got. 
More than what we had. この店のご主人様たちを第一に考えてるってことっしょ。店に迷惑をかけてまで大会には出ないってスタンス。メイドの鏡だろマジで。ははは。それに眉氏と同い年だから学校も行かなきゃいけないだろうし。だ、だ、
Well, and your time machine is a 1970s Chevy. Heavens to Murgatroyd, which doesn't have anything to do with the 70s, but I just wanted to say heavens to Murgatroyd. You don't ever need a reason to say that. Well, maybe you don't, but that's why you don't have any friends. <laughs> Chevy is an American automobile brand. They stink, too. I'm sorry, but every Chevy that I've ever had has been terrible, and I'll never get one of their vehicles ever again. I like that Kyoma's the one who posted it. You didn't even notice, did you? You didn't even notice that Okarin had posted this. It's true. This is a surprise. Does that mean people of this age already know about my time machine? Did you really encounter me 10 years ago? Huh, well that's weird because... If so, then that must have been on another world line. I, at least, have not gone to the year 2000. But Kyoma didn't ask him about this. I don't know. In any case, the important point is that rotating black hole has the same effect as a Tipler cylinder. You can learn more about Kerr black holes by studying the Penrose diagram or Tipler's calculations. My time machine works by generating a pair of Kerr black holes. Singularity. In astrophysics, a point of infinite gravity. Singularities are predicted to exist at the center of black holes. However, since it is impossible to observe the interior of a singularity, the existence of such cannot be proven. In a black hole, the singularity is formed by the gravitational collapse of a dying star. For example, imagine a star millions of kilometers in diameter. Now imagine that entire star's mass compressed into a space smaller than the period at the end of this sentence. That is a singularity. This isn't a delusion. I know for a fact that Titer posted 10 years ago. There's even a book about it. Search the used bookstores if you don't believe me. His Chevy has a gravity distortion unit. That's what he said 10 years ago. Anonymous user, you have solved the conundrum. Yes, it does have a gravity distortion unit. My time machine is not perfect. It was built by a third party who reverse engineered CERN's design. The gravity distortion unit is a little unstable. First, the unit produces a micro-singularity, then injects electrons to induce rapid rotation. This generates a local gravity sine wave. As the time machine passes through the singularity, the gravity distortion unit regulates the pressure to ensure safe passage. I am not a specialist, so I cannot explain the mechanics any further. Let me just say that Kerr black holes can be manufactured. I assume everyone's aware of CERN's current experiments with black hole creation. Now, it makes sense. The Earth is constantly moving. Time and space are relative. He would have to know where the Earth is in 2010 in order to accurately predict his exit point? Well, Hall Oyen is the only person who's engaging him on his own terms, and for that matter, is accusing him of other things that he could have done. <laughs> I set the destination with the VGL system. That's variable gravity lock. It functions by reading the local gravity of the destination and locking the Tipler sine wave onto that location. By locking onto Earth's gravity, it ensures that I don't end up floating in space. It uses four cesium clocks to make the calculations, so the margin of error is negligible. The same information was in the tighter book. All you've done is post 10-year-old copy pasta. Anyone could do that. How do I know you're the real tighter? Prove it. I agree. Let's never talk about the time machine again. This is an interesting idea, but it's exhausting and I kind of don't like it. I agree. But then again, I also don't like going to those, like the channels. Same here. I don't like, I don't like the way they talk. Look, if you like this stuff, more power to you. I ain't telling you not to. I don't look down on you and I'm not telling you to stop. But I hate it. It's so frustrating. But we are secretly judging you. And you are, and then they're making me play this stuff. Ugh. It's like I've aged five years. Well, here I am again, wasting all day on at Chan. Good for me. Our hero, everyone. We have more important things to deal with, like more daily life. Eventually, the plot's going to happen, and it's going to be awesome. I'm holding out hope. Namely. The phone wave. Name subject to change. Yes! 
We haven't experimented with it since yesterday, and considering what it does, it seems pretty freaking creepy. Now it's time to put some corn in it! It's high time I figure out what's going on with that thing. Come here, corn! No, Daru. Naze pekeroppa na no da? X68000, a 16-bit PC sold in Japan in the late 1980s. Its peculiar twin brother case was dubbed Manhattan-shaped. I'm sorry? Its peculiar twin tower case was dubbed Manhattan-shaped. Its twin brother case? <laughs> sorry, all this twin paradox stuff! That's what At-Chan does to ya! I mean, it's a 20-year-old machine with specs lower than my cell phone, which is what you get with a 20-year-old machine. <laughs> it's a man's romance. I'm the one building this. You shut up. Odd-eyed. Heterochromia iridis. A condition where the eyes are different colors. A trait often found in anime and manga characters. I cannot deal with it. Not a, a real person like that is fine, but fictional characters like that irritate me because it is... That is the thing. This is the most puny thing that is repulsive to me. I, the other stuff makes me laugh, or maybe I roll a bit, but it's kind of amusing. It's like we all get it. You know, any any guy of a certain age who likes this sort of stuff is gonna is going to at least comprehend the puny stuff, okay? But this, the two different color eyes, I can't take it. I cannot take it. There usually isn't a reason for the character to be odd-eyed. It's mostly just for Moe or the coolness factor. It ain't cool. See, something that I learned from Stein's Gate. <laughs> the person exhibiting the Chuni symptoms believes that they are cool, but most observers find them pathetic, such as the odd eye thing. Romanda. <laughs> Touche, I think. Roman nara shouga nai na. Izre ni shite mo labo ni ya hoka ni aiteru PC ga nakatta nda yo. Omae no saishin PC wa? Fuzaken na. Konna wake no wakaran mono ni tsunagete, mo shi dousa ga osoku natta ra dousu nda yo. Yeah, why would he use his brand new PC on an experiment? Who knows what the heck it's gonna do, which is in fact what he said. You selfish bastard. So you were Geruka Nitsuite or Shirabetic Stan? Ah, Kessa, Daigakuni Tikta. Yeah? Now I'm very interested in this. Why would a banana jellify? What kind of science are we dealing with here? It happened, we need to figure it out. What could cause it? He did get a microscope! Validation! Shredded at the molecular level? Well, that'll cost something to jellify, jeez. So Tenitoka, so you rebelled on Nakata. Banana de Vana in Nanika in Natita. I see. That's the exotic matter they need for time travel. Jellified bananas. The secret was jellified bananas all along. Oh, God. Fractal structure. In geometry, a structure that demonstrates self-similarity. The smallest portion of a fractal structure will appear similar to the whole. Common examples of fractal structures are snowflakes and coastlines. Or those terrible looking civilization maps. I just, I just don't like them. It's a bunch of dang strings. It's not really fun, though I guess it's pretty defensible. Also, I guess we missed this one. Phase transition. A phase transition is what occurs when a substance changes from one state of matter to another. Examples include liquid to solid, freezing, liquid to gas, evaporation, Ferromagnetic to paramagnetic, which apparently doesn't have a name, and the vacuum phase transition. If you made an engine out of it, I'm sure you could put it on a ship called the Nadesico, and then shoot a big wave of gravity. They also did time travel. Yeah. 
メンガーのスポンジだっけ What? Menger sponge. An example of a fractal structure. Take a cube and do the following. One, for each side of the cube, cut a square hole in the center with one ninth the area of the face. Okay. Each side now has eight squares. Two, for each of these eight squares, cut a new hole with one ninth the area of the square. Three, repeat an infinite number of times. The result is a sponge like structure whose surface area approaches infinity. As its volume approaches zero. Okay, I kind of understand what, what, that, what they're talking about there. It is a similar concept to that thing I'd said before about, if you, about continuously going ah, halfway ah. towards something. These sorts of things are interesting to think about, but they can't happen. Right. Because there reaches a point where we're unable to continue going. That because way. we can't, yeah, because we can't actually take an action over such a small. Area like a small surface area, but the scale becomes too small for us to work on. Yeah, but theoretically, it would work like this. But there's always a difference at some point between practice and theory. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I shouldn't be too hard on it because it is it is for fun. But there comes a point where you get too theoretical, and it's and it just seems like self-absorbed wankery. But again, that's probably not really fair for me to say. Ah, uh, banana. -ni. ブラクタル図形の穴を、oh, okay. 穴のレベルで無限に開けていったような感じ。Oh, like it broke down all the bonds holding the atoms together. But why would that turn it into gel then? Because well, solids have the tightest connection between the atoms. Then you go from solids to liquids, and That's there's true, more like... room between the atoms. Yeah. Then you go from liquids to gas, and there's even more room between the atoms. So it broke down the banana's molecular bonds to a certain degree, but not enough that it turned into a liquid. So it didn't become something like a, a fractal Menger sponge, but it did just become goop with a shape. Gelbana. Well, it was it would be Gelbana, but I couldn't tell at the time if that's what they were going for or if that's what it looked like they were going for. Mm. The gel gel thing, I mean. Oh, I see, I see. You, you can't tell, and I don't like jumping to conclusions when it comes to scripts. Gotcha. But, I mean, it, now that they bothered to actually talk about it instead of introduce another character... <laughs> oh, I'm sure, like, the couch cushions are about to flip up and the last person's going to appear. According to the voice screen, at least in terms of protagonists, there's still one more freaking character! But then there won't be any more! Except for antagonists or something. And so, then, we can finally move freaking forward! I mean, look. We, we gush about stuff like Fate Stay Night or Demon Bane, and those also have extremely slow starts. It's kind of funny. It's like they'll start to dip into the plot, then pull back and do something else. Oh, no, 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 no. You just thought we were going. And then a cat-eared maid walks up and, and out chunies the chunie. And you're like, oh, 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 in Kyoma. Yeah. So now that they've they've talked about this, something's going to happen. Oh, of course, of course. Maybe Makisei Kuris will crash through the window <laughs> like a satellite falling from space. <laughs> ridden by John Titer. Hey. なんかやばくね何が起きてるんだろう俺には一つ仮説がある。But is it an actual hypothesis? Or is it a chuny hypothesis? Chuny hypothesis. That's what it's gonna be. Daru gulps, waiting for me to continue. I can feel his eyes narrowing ahead of time. Dance engine. Dance hano ekyo. という仮説だえそれってどういう俺の推測が正しければ電話レンジ過去借りはとんでもない殺傷兵器になりうる軍事に転用すれば戦争の歴史が塗り替わるだろう<笑> OK so it was a chun hypothesis yeah, yeah because that doesn't explain how it froze the chicken 俺だ。計画は第二段階を迎えた。あ、いずれ奴らは思い知ることになるだろう。グランドジャッジメントは近いのだと。グランドジャッジメント。Put the phone down。すべてはシュタインズゲートの意志であり、人類はそれに抗うことはできん。エル。
Fasa. Kung Fu. All right, man. Are you done? Yosei san to hanashiten ja ne tsu no. Setsuku owatta zei. De, dou suru? Banana wa yoi shite aru. Don't do the whole thing. Come on. That's a waste of food. She doesn't want to eat the gel bananas. The gel bananas. Just before I left May Queen Yan Yan, Mayuri asked me to buy some bananas with her money. Oh, come on. Mama ru tsukau to mata Mayushi ga shonbori shi chaun jane. Sore Mayushi no okane de katte kitan daro. Yatsu kara teikyou sareta kenkyu hi da. <sighs> he just takes everything as a validation of his own world? I guess. そもそも丸々全部使う必要なんてないし、一本でいいよ、一本で。実験に金を決めるようでは、世界の支配構造を作り変えることなどできんぞ。why is this a deal? So you, they compromised with half of them? Why? You have to be a banana. Like, I'm just here for a college credit exam or some stuff, you know? Complete! I watched Banana Never Jellifies? I guess we'll find out. It's from Ferris. There's no <clears throat> way I can combat this! The holders of original sin, also known as the Prophets, Nya. Among them is the girl known as the Fallen Angel who accepted chaos, Nya. I attached a picture of her face. So remember it well, Nya. Was that supposed to be a pun? Oh, and before I forget, looking at the picture without protection will cause Divine Eye to activate Original Sin Excitation Mode 666 Compulsory Receptor Release, which will annihilate you on the subatomic level. So be careful, Nya. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I can't combat this, David. Well, this reminds me of Xenogears. <laughs> What doesn't remind you of a giant robot thing? Don't answer that. I'm thinking. <laughs> See, I can't come up with anything, but that's the point. The genre is so broad, it's actually a setting and not a genre. And so no matter what it is that you like or what type of, of genre exists, you will find robot anime that fits it. Uh, less of it now than you used to, but it's kind of waning at the moment. But it'll, it'll come back. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's really only three, three currently airing robot series, which is pretty low. Yes, I'm watching them. What? I'll stop. But, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean... Well, it's not completely confined to the microwave, I believe. Yeah, but they're... They're a lot bigger than bananas, though. I would imagine it would take more concentrated bursts to jellify them. I don't know! I'm not a scientist! <laughs> While still looking bored, which appears to be the only expression he can make, Daru finally gets into the discussion at hand. Thank God. Oh my God. Well, I mean, no, have you? Yeah. It's just more Chunipothesis. Chunipothesai? Chuni prophesy. Chuni prophesy? No. Katsu Eiji san wa kou itta. 1% no kirameki ga nakereba, 99% no doleku wa muda de shika nai. Dakara hatsumei ka yo. Kirameki! To. Edison was a jerk, by the way. He was extremely good at what he did, but he was a jerk. 
天才は 1% のひらめきと 99% の努力じゃなかった残念だったな近年ではそれは誤って広まったものだというのが常識になっているのだ Why are we discussing Edison quotes? ふわははははエジソンが言ったんひらめけってそうひらめけそうだ I don't know if that was exactly what he said but I'm sure it was something along those lines anyway I believe it so it must be true I shall make it true with my own mind I reject that quote for it is stupid At least that's what the wiki said. It has to be true. Of course, it was on the internet. Tensai mad scientist de aru ore wa tsune ni hirame. The phone wave, name subject to change, rings. Shikashi, chin o shita tokoro de geru jo ni naru dake de atarashi hakken nado nani mo nai yo na. I can't agree more. Put a shoe in. Yeah, why don't they just put other things in? Daru opens the phone wave, named subject to change, his door, and peeks inside. And then the monster leaps out and attacks his face! Ooh? Ooh? What are So what changed? Yeah, it Does it have something to do with greater divergence from interacting with John Titer? Maybe because there's only one? Banana. Huh. N not the result I was thinking of. So, what if you put in two bananas? We're gonna wind up using the whole bunch anyway, aren't we? Of course. I push Daru aside and look into the phone wave, name subject to change. My god! No. It's a no banana! <laughs> Was gone! There's nothing inside! The banana has vanished without a trace. <sighs> I speak into the silence on the other side of the phone. I mean, the person I reported to. Ha 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 ha. I didn't acknowledge anything! You know, I've come to be annoyed by the Chuni stuff. However, I admit that every time he does this, it kind of makes me consider doing the same. Walking around and then pulling out a phone to comment cryptically on stuff. Just looks like fun is all. Oh, he's definitely having fun. Uh, now Daru's getting sucked in. I ignore Daru's panicked cry. I'm surprised too. My heart's pounding, but I try to appear calm. Yeah? That sounds fun. Oh, Karin, now is not the time for that. We have a magical vanishing banana. We have a magical vanishing banana? That's why I can't be surprised by saying we need congressional approval? <laughs> if you don't get off the phone, I'm shoving your head in the phone wave, name subject to change. <laughs> what was even the content of the conversation that we just had? No one can make heads or tails out of this. <laughs> <laughs> If I knew, I wouldn't be surprised. Where is it? Banana! 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 My soul name. My soul name cries out in pain. Banana! Oh man, that's therapeutic. You should try it. Banana! That's so pretty good. Yeah, you guys try it too. Well, wait. 
Do you think they're actually doing it? I'm sure somebody did. <laughs> Wasn't it good? So that's not how science works! Meanwhile, in another world line, Mayushi, on her way back from work, is just like walking by and then a banana falls and hits her on the head. Hold on. Did he mention the phone wave? Before or after the world shift. Maybe the reason it's not freezing anything is because that's what they did in the other world line. No, it was entirely in Okay, okay, I couldn't remember, I couldn't remember. No, we, until that had happened, we didn't get to the lab. You're right, you're right, okay, okay, okay. Also, more to the point, if you're saying that you have a microwave that froze the TV dinner and then in another world line jellified the bananas, the hell are you doing to make these microwaves do this stuff? Huh? I think the why is extremely important. Probably more important than the what. <laughs> Try putting in two bananas? A pin? Ah, I guess the banana just split. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll eat one of the remaining bananas. That will calm me down. Thanks, Mayuri. What the hell? Uh. So it is kind of like time travel in addition to to molecular shredding. Because cause that was what we said when, when, when it did that to the TV dinner. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, we're like reversing the command. I don't know why it didn't shred the TV dinner, but... Or microwave karaage or whatever. Yeah. No! Also... Ew. <laughs> it looks like a dead fish. Oh. Impossible! Not three minutes ago, Daru plucked a banana from the bunch and put it inside the phone wave! Name subject to change. And now, banana! It's even reconnected as if it hadn't been torn off. Yeah. And jellifies from there down. Or so we thought. Oh, good, a close up. But now there's no sign that a banana was ever plucked. Instead, a single jellified banana has appeared among the regular bananas. It's one of those things where you would assume so, but you find that there are details that you don't perfectly understand because normally your brain would classify that as irrelevant. Okay, the way a microwave works is it agitates the water molecules in a subject. You yeah, and it vibrates, and, it, and, and the it, vibration causes friction that causes some heat. Yeah. So if it did the opposite of that, that would explain the freezing, but could we use that to somehow explain the shredding of waves? I don't... If, it, if, it, if it vibrates the molecules at the, or the water molecules on a molecular level, then if it froze something that, could that like be what's slicing it up? But no, that doesn't quite- Well, see, the thing is, is I have no basis in being able to discuss anything like that, but what I can say is that you take the mic- you take, like, the microwave karaage that was- that was thawed, you put it in reversing- yeah. reversing the time, and it reverses the time and makes it frozen, less thawed, the state that it was before. And you take this one banana- Yeah, okay. And then it put the banana back where it was in a previous time. Yeah! So, now, I don't know what the difference between, like, why it's shredding... The bananas and not, like, the karaage. Because it's all... I mean, the box, we didn't see inside the box. Yeah, the box seemed fine. And, and they're both organic matter. 
完全にくっついてるな。I mean, this is why they need to try other things. Yeah. That's right. The bunch is completely intact. Aside from the jellification, it looks completely normal. Not so much as a sign that the jellified banana was stuck onto the bunch after the fact. No, no, no. This is the The word I spoke impulsively a few seconds ago. I hesitate to speak it again, but. Banana! My head's full of question marks. I don't know how this happened. But if I were to explain it as I saw it, the banana that was inside the phone wave, name subject to change, returned instantly to its bunch. In other words, I don't think it can be a teleporter. And then she just walks in. Oh, there we go. How did you find out where I lived? More importantly, I am grateful. I am grateful to you for providing us an excuse to end the episode. <laughs> Banana!